pray. Father, we thank you for the comments of today's service. We are grateful unto you for our lives. We thank you for this faithful day, the third Sunday in May 2021. And we are privileged. We are privileged. And so, Father, speak to us, open doors of faith and doors of heart. As you circumcise my lip, anoint my lip with the oil of grace. Amen. Circumcise my tongue. Anoint my tongue with the oil of grace and fill my tongue with the ink of the Spirit. Amen. May I inscribe on tablets of heart, yes, heart that you've made fertile. May the word that can fall on fertile ground and yield positive results. I have prayed and removed the chokes from the ears of those who hear me. And I pray for their attention that when they hear, they will give your word attention and don't just be hearers, but the doers of the word. Amen. May the grace of God be with us to help us understand the word, the truth, and also practice the truth so we shall be set free. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And God's people said, Amen. 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 You are blessed. Amen. I am blessed. Mm -hmm. And today, no matter what, <laughs> uh, the bets of the same feathers flock together. The blessed, the blessed, the blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are serving the blessed God, the most blessed God. Amen. Uh, today, Sunday, the third Sunday in May 2021. We are believing God for 2021 for his supernatural involvement. For 2021 to this church is the year of the supernatural. And the month May, we have a team for the month that says divine turn around. But the number five, we know that it stands for favor for Christians and for God's people. And so we will do justice to this, taking our time, touching the favor in a way that didn't fit and touching the turn, divine turn around also. So we will not miss anything as far as the team is concerned. Amen. Amen. And so we said, turn around simply means move so as to face in the opposite direction. Move so as to face the opposite direction. From a biblical standpoint, we said a turn around could be or could be seen as repentance, restoration, and restitution. These are the three things we'll be looking at, the three hours we'll be looking at throughout May, the month May. And so we said, when we say restoration, divine Turn around, there is a restoration. It simply means you are getting back that which supposed to be yours, but left you or taken away from you. Again, that which is for you, but you never knew it was yours. And so you never enjoyed but until it gets to you, there is no restoration until you recognize mm -hmm. and claim for yourself or demand. There is no restoration. Mm -hmm. And so there must be a restoration by divine. Turn around. Mm -hmm. And we also consider restitution. And we said, when we say restitution, it is in the sense that after we have been restored, all the damages will also be compensated. The emotional damages, the psychological traumas, and every negative effect as a result 
of the loss must be considered and compensated. And so that is restitution. But today we will be looking at repentance. We will be looking at repentance. Divine turn around. Divine turn around as repentance. When we say repentance, in the sense, we are saying it in the sense that you made a U-turn or a turn about from the direction you were headed to, the opposite direction or the starting point. Mm -hmm. And so there is a repentance in a sense that this is where you are going and you decided to turn about or turn around. And so you change course. Mm -hmm. And so where you were facing, you turn around so your back face that direction. Mm -hmm. And where your back used to be, your face now come to that direction. So there is a U-turn. Yeah. This is what we call repentance. And we will see that first. We will see it from Malachi chapter 3 verse number 7. My wife will help us read. Before we continue, Malachi chapter 3, verse number 7. And we believe it, it is going to be a divine engineering force. This turn around, divine turn around, we say is divine because the turn around is not by the might of man. It is the doings of the Lord. And so we believe it is going to be a divine engineering force that will cause all these to happen, this turn around. That is why we say divine, because God is involved. God is involved. Amen. And so my wife will first read Malachi chapter uh, 3, verse number 7. Okay, I'm reading Malachi chapter 3, verse 7. Uh -huh. Yet, from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Amen. And so God is saying to us, return to me. Return to me. And I will return to you. This is repentance. Change course. Change course. Change direction. Where you are headed. And come back to me. The preface. Re simply means again. Since the days of your fathers. You've turned away from me. You used to be with me. You've turned away from me. Come back. Return to me. And I will return to you. If you come back to me, I will do for you what God has to do for his people. And if you read John chapter 6 verse 44, my wife will read because the people were all the time asking, how do we return? How? How? If you take your time and read the book of Malachi, you will see that the people always ask, how? But listen to John chapter 6, verse 44. I'm reading John chapter 6, verse uh, 44. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, 44. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. And so there must be a divine assistance. Mm -hmm. The reason why we say divine turn around is you cannot do it all by yourself. Mm -mm. Jesus says, anyone who can come to me comes because the Father draws him to me. Because the people who are saved, the people who will be saved, mm -hmm. the people who belong to me are known. Mm -hmm. They are known. God knows those who will start the journey but fall away. And he knows people like the one 
who died, the criminal who died on the cross with Jesus, who did not start well, they will end up being saved. And God knows people who will start well like Judas, but they will fail. He knows people like uh, uh, Solomon who will mess up, but later will come back on track. He knows people like Saul, King Saul, who will mess up and wouldn't want to come back. And so unless the Father pool draw you back to Jesus, those who are meant for salvation, there must be a divine assistance. Yes. And it is my prayer that God will reach out to you. Amen. May you be sensitive to his voice through this message. Amen. And may God reveal himself to you because if you do not get to God, you are doomed. Mm. You've heard me said over the years, when God wanted to create tree, he first created the earth. Mm. And so without the earth, there is no tree. Tree will die. Mm -hmm. And when God wanted to create fish, mm. he first created the seas. Mm -hmm. And so without the seas, there is no life for the fish. Mm -hmm. Or without the waters, there is no life for the fish. Mm -hmm. When God wanted to create a man, he existed all by himself, God. Mm -hmm. When God first created man, man was like a statue. Mm -hmm. There was no life in man until God breathed his no through his nostrils mm -hmm. the breath of life. Mm -hmm. And man started living. Mm -hmm. And so without God, man had no life. Mm -hmm. And so we all need to return to God. And we who call ourselves born again and Christians, we must renew our vows and our relationship with God always. God was speaking to the Israelites who were already his people. But they turned away from him. That is why the Bible urges us, remember where you fell. Remember where you fell. Rise up from there. Remember your first love. And remember where you fell. And because in the journey of faith, there are turbulences, there are challenges. And we need to be steadfast that nothing take us out of course. We need to be steadfast. And like our sister said, you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself. Even though you messed up yesterday, you messed up some times ago. Can you go back the past and make things correct. No, you can correct what was messed up yesterday, today, by repentance. Mm -hmm. By repentance. Learning to change course and starting doing things anew well. Repentance. And so, being a Christian, if you know you fail, don't be like Judas who thought he was a bad. Forgiveness. He was a bad shame. Mm. And he could not face the people. Mm. And so he took his life. Mm. We should be like Peter. Mm -hmm. Who forgave himself. Submitted in all humility. Mm -hmm. And faced the consequence. Mm -hmm. We should be like that. Mm -hmm. Oh hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Last time King David said. When he could not face the people anymore. Mm -hmm. Because of taking Uriah's wife. Bathsheba. And also orchestrating the death of Uriah. He could not face the people anymore. But in Psalm 51, I think, he said to himself, when it came to the point that the king himself felt ashamed to stand before his subject, mm. he said, oh Lord, it is you I have offended. Yes. This is where he encouraged himself. Mm. It is you, oh Lord, I have offended. And let men be men. They will judge me forever. But you, oh God, mm -hmm. I will find mercy. Amen. May we find mercy in God Amen. and forgive ourselves. Amen. And move on in the journey of righteousness, in the journey of salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. We all need repentance and you who are listening to me, if you do not know Christ, mm -hmm. I want you to understand Christ is God pardon for humanity. Mm -hmm. When we say repentance to God, it is getting back through Christ to God. Mm -hmm. You cannot get to God without Christ. Mm -hmm. He said to us, I am the way, the only way. And people did not understand. Mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey did not understand. Many people did not understand uh, that Christ claimed to be the only way. Yes, he is the only way mm -hmm. to God because no man knows the way to the Father mm -hmm. except 
He himself, God, mm -hmm. and Christ is that God. We are going to find out today. Mm -hmm. And so we should know, Christ is not just human. Mm -hmm. We should know that. And why do we need repentance? Whoa! Why do we need repentance? We need repentance because our father, Adam, separated us from mm -hmm. God. According to Romans chapter 8, mm -hmm. by Romans chapter 5, sorry, our father Adam separated all of us from God. How? Genesis chapter 3, verse number 8 coming. When Adam and Eve heard the sound of God's footsteps in the garden, they ran away. They ran away from God. But before then, they were having fellowship with God every day. And then something happened. Something intercepted. And for that matter, Adam and Eve started running away from God. But let me explain this to you well. For you to know why. We all at a point need mm -hmm. repentance. You need and I need. Mm -hmm. Because... We were in Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Listen carefully. If you read Hebrews chapter number 7. Verse number 9 and 10. The Bible says when Abraham paid tithe to Melchizedek. In Genesis chapter 14. Levi was in Abraham. Get this very carefully. But very clear. Get this well. Levi was in Abraham. When Abraham was paying tithe to Melchizedek mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 14, Isaac had not yet been born. Yeah. Who is Levi? Levi is Abraham's great grandson. Abraham gave birth to Isaac, mm -hmm. his son. Isaac gave birth to Jacob, Abraham's grandson. Jacob gave birth to Levi, Abraham's great-grandson. But the Bible says, when Abraham was paying tithe to Melchizedek, Levi paid the tithe. Mm -hmm. Because Levi was still in Abraham. How? Because Isaac was in Abraham. Mm -hmm. And Jacob was in Isaac. And Levi was in Jacob. And so they were all in Abraham. And so when Abraham was doing what he was doing, everyone who would come out from Abraham through Isaac, through Jacob, were part of the deal. Mm -hmm. And so when Adam and Eve were running away from God, we were all in their loins. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve were not having children at that time. They ran away from God before started having children. And they separated themselves from God and separated you and I also from God. That is why repentance is must. God says to us in Malachi, return to me. He knows what he was talking about. Because Adam had separated all of us from God. That is why Romans chapter 3 verse number 23 says, we all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. We all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Whoa, what glory? The Bible says when God had an encounter with Moses, mm -hmm. the glory of God came upon Moses. Mm -hmm. If you read, I think, Exodus 34, mm -hmm. verse number 29 coming, I think, somewhere there. God's glory came upon Moses when Moses spent 40 days and 40 nights with God all alone. Mm -hmm. And when God uh, allowed Moses to leave and Moses was coming to the people, when they saw him, they saw God. The people saw the radiant face of Moses. Mm -hmm. The same like in Genesis chapter 3, when Adam and Eve saw the radiant presence of God and they were running away. Mm -hmm. In Exodus, when the people saw the radiant face of Moses, the Bible said they feared and ran for their lives. Mm -hmm. 
They feared because God was coming close to them. And these are the people who have been separated from God through Adam. And so they have to cover the face of Moses. They have to cover the face of Moses. And so we all have fallen short of God's glory. And God was coming to hurt us. God needed to cover himself from the glory. And took the nature of flesh. Jesus in his original state. In uh, Revelation chapter 1. When John saw Jesus. He fell and almost was a dead man. But he had been eating with Jesus before. When Jesus was undercover as God. When he was undercover. When he covered the, the glory with flesh. John ate with him. All the disciples ate with him. But when he removed the covering. And the glory started showing that God appeared to this man. John. He fell as a dead man. When Jesus in the Mount of Transfiguration, Matthew chapter 17, when he revealed his glory to the three disciples, they all fell as dead. The reason why he had to cover himself when coming to us, and so the glory will be covered with flesh, is the reason for us to be able to get close. And so, Adam and Eve separated us. And God in his wisdom want to draw us back to himself. And he had to cover himself. We all saw last time from Exodus chapter 11, uh, verse number 25, how God took the spirit, one spirit he took from Moses, put on this, put on that, put on that. So everyone had equal spirit. The same way God came out of God, came out of God, hmm. and they were three. Hmm. And one came to take the flesh. Before we read this scripture that brings the reconciliation, I mean, build the bridge or bridge the relationship between us and God, I would like you to see this profound truth, Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter number 2. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Verse number 9. Colossians chapter 2, verse number 9. Colossians chapter 2, verse number 9. Colossians chapter 2. Verse 9. Uh -huh. For in him dwells all the fullness of for in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In him, in Jesus, dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. When we say Godhead, we are talking about the triune God, the Trinity, mm -hmm. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. In him. God dwells in bodily form. All the fullness of God dwell. And so he just came to take the flesh. According to Philippians chapter 2. Let's read it. Verse number 5 coming. Philippians chapter 2. Verse number 5 coming. Philippians chapter 2. Verse number 5 coming. And so we are seeing how God was bridging and reconciling us to himself. Because man could not do until God helped. According to John chapter 6. Until God draws. Until God pulls. Until God touches your heart. That God will not force you. God will not force you. Glory be to God that you and I have accepted his offer. Glory be to God that we have made this you turn. We might not have money like Peter and John said. Silver and gold we do not have. Mm -hmm. But we are not broke. We have Jesus. Mm -hmm. The creator of heavens and the earth in us. Mm -hmm. And the God in you is the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. 
Colossians chapter 1 verse number 27. Jesus in you is the hope of glory. You might not enjoy the benefits and the things of this life as you desire. But everything God has said concerning you shall come to pass. Amen. 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 When we are restored to God, there is a takeaway. We are about to see that. When we repent, we turn back to God. But the process is important to me. Know who is re reconnecting us back to him. Mm -hmm. After Adam. Mm -hmm. The Bible did not say Eve. Adam. Mm -hmm. But it was Eve who first ate the fruit. But Adam being the head and the, and the spiritual head of the family. Was mm -hmm. to bear the responsibility. Men. Mm -hmm. We should wake up. Amen. And take our positions as men in the house. Amen. May God help us. Amen. The Bible says Jesus is the second Adam. Mm -hmm. Because one separated us. One is bringing us. Mm -hmm. And no human being can bring us to God. It must take God to bring man to God. Jesus is God. Amen. And so we have heard. That even though he had the body. There was the fullness of the divine being. The Godhead in him. Mm -hmm. That is why I said to you the other time. When we see him, we have seen the spirit. We have seen the father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Read it for us, my dear. Philippians 2, Philippians 2 verse 5 coming. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 coming. Uh -huh. Let this mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this kind of mentality be in you, which was already in our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Who being in the form of God. Who being in the form of God. Did not consider it robbery. He did not consider it deep faith because he had the flesh. Like he said to the rich man, why do you call me good? Everyone that has the flesh. Hey, it's not good unless they have an encounter with God. Mm -hmm. It's only God who is good. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And so being God, he, he did not even consider himself anything, mm -hmm. but took the nature of flesh. Uh -huh. Okay, seven. Let me read the six again. Uh -huh. Who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Seven. But made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a born servant and coming in like the likeness of man. He came in like man. He was not a man. He came like man. Mm -hmm. But originally, he is God. Let's quickly move to first. Timothy chapter 3 verse number 16. Uh, the, the, the establishing this is very important to know who Jesus is. First Timothy chapter 3 verse number 16. First okay. um, Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Uh -huh. And without controversy, great is the mystery of the godliness. God was manifested in the flesh. God came in the flesh. This is a mystery. It's a mystery and it is great. It will blow your mind if you want to understand. You just have to receive it into your heart and believe. Mm -hmm. Like a child. The father says, I will buy you a plane. He says, yes. Because he has confidence in his father. They don't think about it. Tell your child today, I will buy you a car. He says, yes. <laughs> because every child believes in his father. We, they don't think about it. This is... Why Jesus said some times ago, until we take the kingdom like or as little children, we cannot enter into it. We must believe everything the mm -hmm. Father says. Mm -hmm. And we don't believe with our mind. We believe with our heart. Yeah. We don't believe with our mind. We think with our mind. But we must accept and receive yes. it into our heart. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Great is the mystery of godliness. God took the flesh. Mm -hmm. That is Jesus. He is Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And was what? Justified in the spirit. He was justified in the spirit. In the realms of the spirit, the demons and the forces of darkness could not hold him. They had to let him be because they knew that he is above them all. 
And what happened? Seen by angels. He was seen by angels for the first time. Mm -hmm. He was seen by angels. I have said this separately and I repeat. Mm -hmm. According to the book of Isaiah, angels don't even see God. Mm -hmm. Those who stand in front of God, uh, the, the seraphim and, and the cherubim, uh, they, they cover their faces. They, they don't see God. The reason why in the book of Luke, when Jesus was born, all angels came to worship. It's the first time they set eyes on God. Seen by angels. Let's quickly move to Titus chapter 2, verse number 13. We are talking about God who took the flesh. And there had never been any except Jesus. Yay, Jesus. Jesus. Titus chapter 2, verse number 13. Titus chapter 2, verse number 13. There have been many readings. May the Lord help you. Let, let, let me also help. If you are there, you, you, you read. If you are not, then uh, I will read it. Hallelujah. You are there. Read it for us. 2 verse number 13. Uh -huh. The appearing of the glory of our great God. Uh -huh. The appearing of the glory of our great God. Of our great God and your Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our great God, the appearing, he's talking about the rapture. Whilst we wait patiently for the appearing of our great God and Savior, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Who gave himself for us to... Shata, he gave himself for us to... To redeem us from all our sin Amen. and our sinful behaviors. Mm -hmm. We are talking. Let's end there. Let every other person go and read. We are talking about Jesus Christ and he is our savior Amen. and our great God. Yes. Mm -hmm. He is our savior and our great God. Who said Jesus was not God? Mm -hmm. He is God. I have many scriptures to prove the fact. Read my book. Who is God and you will see. Let's read the last scripture. First John chapter 5 verse 20. And then we come to. How we are reconnected back to God. Mm -hmm. Only verse 20. Only verse 20. Um, first John chapter, chapter 5, 5, 5 verse, 20. verse 20. Uh -huh. The Bible says, and we know that the Son of God has come. We know that someone has come. That is the Son of God. Bears give birth to birds. Dogs give birth to dogs. Mm -hmm. Man give birth to man. Mm -hmm. The Son of God must be born by God. Mm -hmm. And we know the Son of God has come. Uh -huh. And has given us an understanding. He has given us understanding to know, to know the mysteries behind the appearance of God who took the flesh. Mm -hmm. There is a mystery. And Jesus has brought us understanding. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That we may know him who is true. That we may know the only one who is true. And already, uh huh? And we are in Him. Already, we are in Him who is true. true. Amen. Uh huh. In His Son Jesus Christ. In His Son Jesus Christ, we are in Jesus. Galatians chapter three, verse twenty-six to twenty-nine. We have clothed ourselves with Christ, mm -hmm. so we are in Him. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. This is the true God, and He is the true God and eternal life. Mm -hmm. He is the true God. And eternal life. You who are watching me on Facebook and on YouTube, I want you to understand we are talking about repentance and man retracing his steps mm -hmm. back to God. Mm -hmm. And we are talking about doing that through Christ because there is no other way according to John chapter 14 mm -hmm. verse number 1 to 5. There is no other way except through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. He is not just a man. He is God. You are mm -hmm. hearing it. Mm -hmm. And so don't 
see Jesus as your enemy. He, Jesus is God who is bringing you back to himself. If you read Romans chapter 3 verse number 25, the Bible says he is letting go, he is forbearing everything we did wrong and leaving the punishment that was due us. And so children of God and you who are hearing me, we should see Jesus not as a man. He took the flesh only to make possible for him to die. So he can shed a blood and redeem us. Mm -hmm. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Mm -hmm. Every man has sinned and fallen short with the exception of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was not born by man. He only needed the gate. Mm -hmm. It is written in every good book that Jesus was born by a spirit and a virgin. Mm -hmm. Why don't you believe it? Now let me show you something and we will end with that. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 to 19, uh, to 21. And if it is God's will, we read, we read one more scripture and bring the service to a close. Chapter 5, verse number 17 to 21. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Mm -hmm. The Bible says... Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. If we are in Christ, we are like when God first created Adam and Eve and there was no separation. Mm -hmm. What happened? God handed to them the entire creation of his. Mm -hmm. God was having fellowship with them. And so when we come to Christ, there is a reconstruction of that relationship. We have become a new creation. And what happened? It says, all things have passed The away. old, what Adam did, the separation has been blotted. Mm -hmm. They are passed away. And what happened? They are passed away in Christ, reconciling the world to himself. They are passed away in Christ. Mm -hmm. And new mm -hmm. has come. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh -huh. It says, um, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Everything has become new. Like you were first created. This is your pride. This is your joy. Mm -hmm. Christ in you, the hope of glory. And that new things have come. Mm -hmm. All is gone. Mm -hmm. Adamic sin is gone. Second Adam, Christ has made all things new. Mm -hmm. God does not count your sins against you anymore. Mm -hmm. According to Isaiah 53 verse 7 coming, every sin we have committed has been put on Jesus. It has been put on Jesus. It has been put on Jesus. The reason why on the cross the Father forsook him is because he carried our sins. Mm -hmm. And God has to embrace us because he did not see the sin of Adam in us anymore. Mm -hmm. This is the gospel truth. Yes. This is what I've been preaching for over 20 years now. And I'm still preaching today. This is the truth that says, if you believe in it, your heart will be drawn to God. Mm -hmm. Continue, my dear. 18. Now all things are of God. All things are of now God. all things are of God. Who has reconciled us to himself. He has reconciled us to himself through who? Through, Jesus through Christ. Christ Jesus. And has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Let's end that. God is reconciling us. How do you reconcile with somebody? It means you were not in good terms. It means we were not in good terms. Adam separated us from God. And, and Jesus has come to restore us back to God. I thought I heard some amen. amen. And let's read this final scripture and then we close. Hebrews chapter 6, verse number 9. There is a takeaway. Whenever there is a new creation, there is a giving. When God first created Adam and Eve, he gave them a gift. He gave them the entire world. And now in Christ we have become new creation. We call it salvation. New creation, we call it salvation. And there is a takeaway. There must be a new giving. Nice. Let's read as we bring the service to a close. Hebrews chapter 6, verse, verse 9. Verse number 9. But beloved. But beloved in Christ. We uh -huh. are confident of better things concerning you. We are confident of better things concerning you.
concerning everyone who comes to believe in Christ. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, things that accompany salvation. There are things that come along with salvation. Mm -hmm. There are things that accompany salvation. These are byproducts. Mm -hmm. If you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all things shall be added to you. Mm -hmm. There are things accompany salvation. Mm -hmm. If you allow Christ into your life, there are things that accompany him. Mm -hmm. If you allow Jesus into your life, there are things that accompany him. If you embrace salvation as God's pardon, there are things that accompany Amen. salvation. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And so, children of God, I want you to thank God for this truth. We are bringing the service to a close. I want you to start thanking God for the truth. Amen. For drawing you to the Son, who is also God. For drawing you to Jesus, who is God. Amen. In the name of Jesus, begin to thank God for the truth in the mighty name of Jesus.